I told you about my dad in Chavez, right? Or no. Singular? No. My dad won one. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, my dad used to do freestyle skiing in the 70s. Uh, and he won He won a Beetle once. But yeah, he, he got the Chevette and uh, didn't even pick it up. He's like, I don't want it. <laughs> Damn. Smart choice. <laughs> like, hey, you guys can keep it. Hey, you gonna, you gonna pick up your trophy? <laughs> Good. <laughs> I'm gonna sell this trophy for pennies off the dollar. But you know what would have been hilarious is if he, like, said no to the Chevette and then, like, Ford was just like, what about a tempo? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's amazing. I love it when we do tandem can openings. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 148 of the CamCast. Yay! Wahoo. Yes, indeed. We're still alive. <laughs> yes, despite our best efforts, <laughs> we're still alive. We've got uh, our buddy Joey. He's uh, streaming on uh, his Twitch channel, Digital Driver. We're currently watching him play hey, Grand Theft Auto Online. He's doing some dancing. Hey, you know, he's trying to get some technology working. But anyway... Over on our end, I have Mike, dear leader, Doc Taste, man who is still nursing uh, his his solo beer for the evening. That's okay. It's all right. I I'm, mean, live your truth, man. I'm just trying to... Not, That's all you want? That's all you want. I'm trying not to be as gross as I normally am. I'm okay. really trying to... 2019, less gross Mike. Okay. Yep. And anyway. I'll take you any shape, any way you are. Oh, he's, aww. Aww. he's so welcoming and accommodating. He's had such a big heart. Aw. Yep. It is Professor of the Ghetto Arts, Uncle Radical himself, Daddy Rads, Dave Raleigh. Do you want shenanigans? Because that's how you get shenanigans. I'd like some shenanigans. <laughs> He'll serve them up to you. It's true. Uh, sitting at the end of the table, also watching Joey on Twitch, I'm assuming. I uh, No, I've moved on to looking at motorhomes. Okay, for, good. For bad ideas. Trent, oh, Trent, and, I, Trent and I have a, a bad, bad idea. Yes. Which we'll I talk I am about willing, support. that I'm willing to put money out. We'll, we'll talk about this a little bit later in the podcast. Yeah. Maybe yeah. get some of the uh, listeners. We'll get we'll get there. But uh, I yeah. fully support this. Bad this idea. shadowy billionaire. Ahoy, hoy! There we go. Mm, there you go. Ah, yes, and still here, still working the board. Somehow, we haven't fired you. You keep trying to walk out. I don't know why you haven't fired me yet. I, I would have done it on day one. Because but. you're doing a good job. That's why we're not firing well, you. Well, I mean, sub- subjectively. He's doing... Oh, don't, don't. Zach, <laughs> stop playing defense against yourself, buddy. <laughs> All right? I'm it's doing like, my job. It's, uh, I'm knob of the knobs. You know, you're yeah, lord, lord of the boards. No, now he's knobbing, knobby knob Zach Lords. Knob and tube? Mm. Uh, Anybody? Whatever. Yeah, we'll workshop this. Present. Anyway. <laughs> Let's get it out of the way. Yep. And hanging out across from us, back again. Yes. After far too long, it is the one, the only, the Gavin P. Carr. Ahoy, hoy. Oh. oh. I like Shots it. Shots fired. <laughs> Hold Amazing. On. You remember those crisp high five we always do? Yeah. Close enough. Even over the table. That's, that's pretty good. That was well, pretty good for all. an over the table, over the nachos. That wasn't so bad right? at all. Right. No, that was good. That had a little sting on the hand. Hey, a little you know. bit, yeah. <sighs> Gavin, it's a good thing I love you. No. Aw, I love you too, Trent. You don't love me? And I love you too. Okay. Uh, but you yeah, get but so much more animated when I take it. Oh, is it because I take it before you? Uh, it, it's it, It's because I miss Gavin. I see you all the time. <laughs> even when we're not here at the camp. You know what? I'm not even mad. That's that's perfectly acceptable. Yeah. Because I miss Gavin, too. Aww. We all miss Gavin. Thanks, guys. Yep. And if you miss Gavin, you know what you can do? You can listen to the back episodes of this here podcast by finding it on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, wherever you find your podcasts. Indeed. Like, rate, review, subscribe, all those happy fun things. Share us around. It's fun. It is fun. It's it's more fun with friends. I I was gonna say, if you want Gavin around, you could unlock the secret six hundred and ten thousand dollar a month level on our Patreon. Yes, we do, do. I get to see any of that? No, no. Oh, okay, but but we'll, I mean, we'll drop you a per diem each time you we'll, come in to record. You know? We'll figure out oh, something. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm down. It'll be like I'm ten bucks. For that. But, you know. Yeah, but you know, I mean, if you want to, you know, give us six hundred and ten thousand dollars, or you know, any amount of money, you head over to patreon.com/camautomag. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, 
depending on how much you're giving us, we'll give you something in return. I highly recommend the uh, the $10 level, because not only do you get access to the super secret Facebook group, the Cam Shenanigans group, where we do nothing but shitpost, and it is delightful. It is delightful shitposting. You also get yourself a Cam sticker and access to exclusive Patreon content, mm-hmm. like That's the true. reaction video we just recorded. <laughs> Which was fire. Yes. I hope my reactions were genuine. I, they, they felt genuine. I well, believe the kids these days call that lit AF. <laughs> I've been pronouncing it lit of. <laughs> Light of. <laughs> it's the Lamborghini Countach. <laughs> Fuck off. I know that bothers Zach. That's it why really I keep does. Saying it. Man. He, you, he doesn't like the Lamborghini? The Kuntak or the Kuntak? No, I, I don't. I, I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure it's the Lamborghini. It, I can't how about the Huracan? <laughs> <laughs> Man, the fact that I don't fit in a Kuntak just just bugs me. I'll never be able to drive a Kuntak. Why are you saying it weird? It's Countach. <laughs> <laughs> what about the Aventador? I'm saying what weird? Cool whip. whip. Where do you get off? Cool whip. Cool whip. Cool whip. Cool um, whip. Stop being oh, weird. The lamp portion I Same have what, door door. What way? Uh, Where do you get off? Uh, well, this is just going to go downhill real quick, uh, right? Yes. <laughs> All right with that. Don't worry. It's okay, guys. Speaking of going downhill real quick, mailbag at camautomag.com. Yeah, we got some stuff for you. But yeah. that's going on the upswing. Yeah. It is actually going on the upswing. I appreciate all the responses. We've I got, love it. We've got plenty, plenty, plenty of things. So much correspondence. We love it. We want you guys to keep sending more. I yeah. love seeing Track Daily Crushes. I love, I, I yep. love to see... All, all kinds of stuff here. Yeah. I mean, we have... Suggestions, just yeah, like, fun comments. Yeah, like, we've got some, you know, some other stuff in here. Like, uh, let's see, from AJ Glossmacher. He's responding to uh, when we were talking about driving games. Oh, yes. yeah. I was re-listening to episode 144. It remembered another fun racing game called Full Auto. It had abstract cars, mm-hmm. but you oh. could have a faux Camaro with two fifty caliber machine guns yep. and a rocket launcher mounted under the hood. It was an Xbox exclusive, but Full Auto 2, which is the one he had, was on PS3 as well. Interesting. Uh, yes. Oh, the physics were on point, apparently. That's great. You can blow off body parts of the car. Man. Oh, and he learned about the fun, fun thing of splash damage. There we go. Yep. I'd I... like to auto-reply to this message. Thanks for the tip. Or <laughs> thanks, I'll check it out. <laughs> that I like just that's pretty cool, period. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. That's, Thanks, Google. You're just turning people into passive aggressive assholes. Thanks. Uh, anyway, uh, but also, uh, yeah, Matthew Tomek. Uh, oh yes, responded in. Yes, and he is uh, throwing this in. Oh he, yeah, we were we were having some confusion on the colors for the yeah. Polestar cars. Yeah, so the S60 and the V60, which is up to 2018, had two different blues. There was the uh, the light. More electric boner zapping blue is called cyan racing blue. I mean, which is why I call it Swedish racing green. And yeah. while the darker right. blue is called bursting blue metallic. Ah. Uh, he doesn't okay, know. yeah. Yeah. Uh, the new generation S60 Polestar, I've yet to find out if it comes in any blue colors, but it will only come in the T8 configuration, which is twin charged and hybrid, making well over 400 all-wheel horsepower and well over 470 torques. From my rating so far, I don't believe it's going to come in a blue uh, he will send picks when the one is GM I think, ordered. I think the second color blue that he is talking about also comes on the XC90. It does. And it looks fire. Yes. Very fire. Yep. Damn. Uh, he is now our self-proclaimed pizza stepson and friendly neighborhood Volvo tech. That's, Very cool. That's good to know. Very good to know. We like that you're keeping the mooses on the road. Yep. Let's see. Brandon McConkey sent us. Oh, oh, this is that's a that's gonna be a fun one for later. Oh, are we are we gonna do that on this episode? Or no, are we hold no, that off? no, no. Gavin, okay. hey, I'm choosing these. Okay, so but our no. guest has one. Okay. Oh, the guest have, we, has we, one. We don't, we don't have to talk about mine. Actually, I, I love Breaking Bad, so that would actually be really fun to talk about. Yeah, that one. I think we'll save that one next for next time. Okay, for next time. Sounds I want I want to do yours because I gave it that delightful title. <laughs> well, and I also. Uh, well, I'll, I'll give my own intro to that when we yeah, get we'll, to we'll it. Yeah, we'll get there. Anyway, yeah. so uh, remember how we were talking about uh, AJ, AJ Glassmacher's mom's Integra? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, 
So I mentioned my mom, and it turns out I had it wrong. Mind you, I'm working off a seven-year-old's memory. I mean, you're doing damn good. Yeah, I don't <laughs> yeah. remember what I did when I was seven. It was a 94 or a 96. She can't remember Ellis Sedan, and it was not all-wheel drive, as it turns out. <sighs> Bummer, but that's okay. It's all right. Uh, initially, young me thought it was rear-wheel drive because she used to work as a secretary for a construction company, and I vaguely remember her getting stuck in some mud and seeing mud getting kicked up back behind the car. A few years after that, I did some research and found out there was an all-wheel drive Integra in existence, so I assumed it was all-wheel drive and remembered it as such all these years. Sorry to get your hopes up. I'm disappointed, too. <laughs> no, AJ, we're not disappointed, because you know we, what? We have the truth. You, you owned it. <sighs> yeah. Not many people will own their mistakes nowadays. Man, yep. like True. plus 10 for True. AJ, yep. right? Yeah. Ooh, Sam has a fun question that will be uh, a later question of the week. I like that. I like that a you lot. You also need to go back to uh, Matthew Tomek. Uh, I'd like to change my answer because oh, that, that uh, up a little bit. Are you passed oh, the there you go. Yeah, there we go. So he, he sends oh. in the driving game that made the biggest impact on my childhood and what got me interested yes. in cars today is Need for Speed Porsche Unleashed. Yes. Yep. The <laughs> graphics are terrible compared to today, but mm-hmm. man, was it fun. Now, and here's... Wait. Hold that thought. Okay. I just picked up Porsche Unleashed. I what? Kn- I know, and I'm so proud of Can you. Can I play yes. it with you? Yes. You so may. here's okay. the thing. I have it on PC, nice. and it was one of the first games that I actually started modding, like... Oh, really? ...layers and textures and filters to actually improve the graphics and like wow. change the skins on the cars and stuff. Wow. I actually my favorite car in the game is the 944S2. Okay. Oh. And I had one that I decked, I modded the hell out of the game to where I could change the color of the wheels. Dude. I had a hmm. livery on it. Wow. Like I wow. spent days on that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, NFSPU, that was my jam. I own every Need for Speed. Uh-huh. But that one is the one that finds itself into my computer more often than not. So uh, my buddy Richard, I don't know if you guys have actually met him. He's gone out to the meets and stuff. Uh, he's awesome. been really more of like a Jag, Land Rover, like Mercedes SL guy. Okay. But we went to elementary so, school together. So he's, he's a masochist. A little bit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, but so my, this is back when my dad had his Porsche when I was a kid. Okay. And I would go to his house up in Park City and play Need for, Need for Speed. Porsche Unlimited. The Porsche Unleashed. Unleashed, I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. But yeah, I remember like yeah. playing that at his house like Thanksgiving. It would be like that. <laughs> yeah. nice. That's the jams, dude. Honestly, I liked the uh, the seafoam green Boxster that you could get in that with a hard top. Oh, yeah. And yeah. I, I enjoyed uh, yeah. wheeling that around in the Porsche Absolutely. Unleashed. Remember when you could buy a Boxster with a hard top? Right, right. I, I mean. It's called a Cayman now. Damn. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> well, there we are. Oh. True. Ah, well, I mean, anyway. You're not wrong. But yes, you all need to come play video games because I set up, uh, over my over the weekend, I set up three TVs in my basement, combined nine or ten consoles, wow. uh, split between those three TVs. So Wow. And well. I have no time to play video games, so it's all <laughs> useless. But Well, okay. Yeah. I mean, that's... I'll just invite myself I saw, over. I saw those yes, photos, please and do. I was like... <sighs> there, there's a gym on the other side of the room that I do use on occasion. So, well, as long as it's occasionally getting used, and yeah. possibly Gavin as well. Yeah. Damn. Anyway, well, guys, thanks for your responses. If you want to respond to anything you've heard on this podcast, it's mailbag at camautomag dot com. We appreciate getting the correspondence. Uh, we didn't get any responses ever to dating Dave, so I'm not surprised. It's, it's all right. It's okay. Yep, yeah. I'm still single. Hey, you know, you tried. But so. uh, can we get any responses to bringing Gavin back permanently? No. Huh? I mean, that's really, I mean. Mailbag at camautomag.com. See, what this means is I just got to do way more dope shit. I mean, and I just yeah. come back with dope stories about doing dope shit. Yeah, there you are, man. So, yeah, let us know if you want Gavin back permanently. <laughs> you know. Uh, anyway. Your lack of responses will mean that. Uh, you don't want him back. Yeah. I'll just, I'll just so leave. don't disappoint. I'll just show myself the door. Your That's apathy cool. speaks volumes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, moving on. Yes. Uh, so, this is normally where Trent would throw out a track daily crush. Appar- well, no, it's a billion dollar question. There just happens to be a lot of fire track daily crushes that you all keep submitting. Yeah. But apparently, I'm being overridden this week. Yes, because our guest has brought himself one. But first, I just mentioned one. Yes, and I liked it so much that can I, I gave it to Can I, I introduce it? First, 
Let me point people in the direction of uh, our shop, camautoswag.com. Yes, get yourself some socks. It's getting chilly out there. That's what you need. Anyway. I also need to buy a hat from you guys. Socks, long sleeve tee, get the hoodie, get the beanie, pom-pom or not, and there you go. You're ready for whatever Mother Nature has to throw at you. Yes, I was wearing the uh, cam shirt, long sleeve shirt, uh, when I was doing my Thanksgiving Day shopping at Target and yep. ran into Deer Leader. Yep. <laughs> of who, all things. Who was also wearing cam paraphernalia. I never leave the house without my cam hoodie and beanie. Yeah, my my daughter found that. She's uh, She hasn't ever met you, has she? Nope, that was the first time I've ever seen her. Okay, yeah, she, she tapped me on the shoulder. She's like, uh, there's a guy over there wearing your stuff like what <laughs> crazy there, there considering mike. that mike used to live in the basement that right. they play in <laughs> yep <laughs> well this was the 14 year old oh got it yeah. right okay yeah. that so, makes more sense yeah you know yeah i'm not bringing i'm not bringing uh, the six and three year old to the chaos that is black friday shopping oh god no. wise man <laughs> no i wound up shuffled in the back corner of that store by the luggage that's how crazy it was yeah i lost my girlfriend i lost her brother I just wound up there, just huddling in the corner, yeah, just waiting for them to come find me. Just whimpering. But yep. I, did, I did flash my uh, cam long sleeve to you. That you did. I took a picture of it. Yes, yep. I would like that picture. Uh, as soon as I get it off the memory card and do stuff to it, I will send it your way. What are you going to do to it? I don't know. Dicks in each hand? <laughs> <laughs> wow. I did not I'm see that coming. I'm sorry I asked. <laughs> uh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Sorry or thankful? Sorry. The All imagery right. right now is just. I need. I need puppies. Go ahead. I need puppies. Get up. Ah, uh, after that, savage, awkward transition. Absolutely ruthless. <laughs> so, as me and Gavin were planning his secret return. Yes. Yeah. Um, if this helps. He said, offhand, that he has a. Track daily crush for us. Duh, it's an adorable little pupper. So the inspiration to this is kind of, it actually resembles a lot of my life now, which is me coattail riding Everyday Driver. Attaboy. <laughs> um, they were talking on their podcast that got released on last Friday, on Black Friday. Yeah. They think it was after Thanksgiving. Um, and Track Daily Crush, uh, Audi RS3, BMW M2, CLA. 45 AMG. Yes. As I like to title it, the My Dad Has a Dealership Edition. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> what were the cars again? We got a... RS3. Okay. RS3 M2 CLA 45. Got it. That is... This is a hard one, because mm-hmm. I like all three of those I, cars. I really mm-hmm. like all three. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Did, do you have... I do. Okay. Um... It, it came to me as soon as they said it. So wait, wait, wait! I'm gonna predict it. Okay. I the track and the daily. I know what. It, it's gonna be the RS3 and the M2. You're gonna crush the CLA because you're a hater. And I'm not a hater. I just like the best things in life. <laughs> well. Anyway, get, get get on with your your thing. Yeah. Well, first, I want to throw this out there, uh, Gavin. You said in your message, RS3, M2, and the GLA. I did say the GLA. Yeah, not the CLA. Not the I CLA. Said... I, was, I was trying to finagle out of the GLA. Mm. Yeah. I... So See, this... GLA being a hatch. Right. Yeah. Right. I mean. I like it. Yeah. I mean... GLA or CLA, it doesn't change my answer. I, I like them both. Uh, what, 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 what's your answer? I, you don't I, do, do you want me to get I'm back to you? I'm still marinating on it. You, you go ahead. Yeah, so I would daily the RS3. Okay. Because who doesn't want to hear a five cylinder turbo every yeah, day? Yeah, that honestly, if also, it was an S3, it would be crushed instantly. Oh, for but, sure. But RS3, that five cylinder, yeah, I, I, it's making it, it tougher. I mean, it's the five cylinder turbo. It's the um, virtual cockpit. Yeah. And I think it's honestly the better interior out of no. the three. No. In my personal no. opinion. Yeah. No. Um. Fake news. And then. The M2 really does belong on the track. It is, it is, and I would, I would get yeah. that in the manual, which it'll have the auto rev match, so you can still row through gears, but you can really drive that car hard. Um, yeah, and then crush the Mercedes. Mm. Mm. That hurts. 
See, here's my thing. That so, pissed off a little four cylinder man. I, I like it. If I, the hatch makes a more convincing argument, if it's if it's the GLA, that's yeah. going to be my daily. Yeah, and I'm going to track the M2. Oh no! Oh yes. no! Just, I mean, <sighs> that hurts, Mike. I mean, I thought you, I thought you would have uh, crushed the M2. No, I like the M2. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. I thought you have a general disdain for BMWs. I have a general disdain for BMW people, not the cars. <laughs> Got it. There's a difference. Do you have a general disdain for me two years ago? No. Okay. I've just Good. always had a general disdain for you. Okay. Ooh. You, yeah. You, yeah. you know that. Yeah. We, our <laughs> friendship is built upon hatred, mutual <laughs> hatred. Yes. Um, I feel that. Yeah. But no, if it's the CLA, that thing's... You know, I'm crushing that thing. CLI's getting crushed. Yeah, then I'm then I'll daily the RS3 and uh, track the M2. Gotcha. Yeah. So I mean, it's just kind of, you know, I I, I I really do feel like that M2 belongs more on, on a track. Oh, it definitely needs to yeah. be there. Yeah. Like also, that's... also Easter egg. Mm-hmm. Would your preferred track be here for the M2, or where would your favorite track for that Ooh, car be? That's a very good question. Um. Not here, actually. I'd probably want some place closer to sea level. Yeah. So, mm. yeah, I'd want something a little tighter. Yeah. Like yeah. You don't yeah. like our very thin air. Not Maybe Sonoma. Um, Sonoma Sonoma would be a fun spot. Sonoma would be good. Um, Laguna Seca, possibly. Uh, let's see, Lime Rock, Watkins Glen. Yeah. Yeah. Vir. Yeah. I think any of those would be real fun in that car. Yeah, it's really more of a low-speed car. Yeah. So, yeah, man. Okay. So, all right. Well, Any other thoughts? As much as it pains me to say, this is a special one just for you, Gavin. I'm going to daily the RS3. Are you saying that I'm right for once? Crack the M2 <laughs> and crush the CLA 45 AMG. He was right. I'm going to give you a hug, Trent. Oh, he's going to go over there and hug him. I'm, I'm not so going to take this willingly. Oh, it is. Just let it happen. This isn't, <laughs> the, okay. this isn't the first time I got it. Either. There you go. Yeah. I'm curious Dave has a Dave has a different answer for us. I actually don't. I want to mirror yeah, same. his. I, yeah. the, I mean, the RS3 has just got to be a, an amazing place to be for one. Yeah. It's nice. It's lovely. Four doors is great. Mm-hmm. It doesn't have much yeah. of a backseat. But it no. doesn't, but yeah. still, it's enough. Yeah, yeah it gets the job it's done. It's enough. I mean, I drive a Subaru that has roughly the same interior space as an RS3. Yeah. So I'm already used to that. Yeah. And I mean, like, I've... We did have one um, when I went with Integrated uh, down to California back last February. Uh, we had that in a Mark 7R. That was Stage 2. Yeah. And, uh, and a B8.5 S4. But the RS3 was a delightful place to be for that entire trip exactly exactly yeah. the m2 then you know being the track car obviously mm-hmm. has a performance heritage here. being rear wheel right. drive right yep. it's a manual gearbox option it's a car to me it's kind of the last of the true bmws of this era well, I, I yeah I, I i will i will say it's probably the closest to an to the original philosophy of m mm-hmm. that you will get in a modern bmw right yep. yeah that's what i like about them it's it's honestly it's a toss up for me as far as that claim between an M2 and an M4. The M4, having just driven one for a couple of days, it's the first time, and I actually I thought about this before driving it. A friend of mine uh, who owns quite a few phenomenal M cars said that the M4 is actually the first BMW from, that come from M division that they over. It has it, they the it over engines the mm. chassis. The yes. engine is way too much for the chassis. Yes, and it's and the I, first I time feel they put like the engine first and the chassis second. I feel like more M cars need to go that direction. You think so? I do because I when I drove that through Malibu, uh, my buddy Andrew actually that drove the car as well as I did. We both said that his stock BRZ through those same corners would have been just as fast, if not faster. I mean, that doesn't surprise me. I feel like it would be a more fun driving experience to just have ridiculous power on tap. It's stupid. Yeah. It is. It is. It's really dumb. I, I feel like the fu- the most fun cars are the ones that are actively seeking to kill you. I, I, did, yeah. I wanted to turn traction control off. 
You I, should have. I couldn't. Well, I the only time I did is when we launched it and I smoked the back tires. Had a boy. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't grip for shit. <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah, I have to agree with everyone else at this table. Um, really? The, the, the GLA, I think, is because there's that that silver one, that silver gray one that has they the have, ring on it. Yeah, and they have um, this matte satin silver. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. There's that one yeah. that's, that's it's around here. It's impossible to clean. Like you can't clean so without good, scratching though. it. It looks amazing. Yeah. It's like getting brake that, dust on wheels that have like that aluminum, like that brushed aluminum finish. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But I, I don't actually know a lot that, that much about the M2. But from what I've read, three hundred sixty-five horse th- around the same torque. Um, you can get it with a six-speed manual. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I think yeah, I think yeah. I forget with you guys. But r- what I was saying well. was that the GLA poses a. Uh, contention with the rs because i do like being able to have I've... sorry I... go on oh yeah i like having that the functionality of that and it, i think it looks really good with the wing and it, stuff it like looks that. good and I, there, it's a good place to be yeah. the gla with the wing would look great however i don't think that the mercedes would actually be a better daily other than that like if it was a cla or if the hatch wasn't a thing I don't think it would be as good of, of a daily as the RS3, and here's why. I think the RS3 would be softer suspension. Because I've heard some things about those Mercedes that they're actually kind of harsh. and They're not that compliant. I, I have not driven the 45 versions, but a GLA 250 was pretty compliant. And was it? Surprisingly, like the GLA 250 is something I... I hope comes down a little bit more in price because where are they at there? I, I haven't 30s? looked in a little bit. They were in the thirties, okay. but I think they're now in the low twenties. Hmm. Uh, but they're highly moddable for like a tune. You'll be sure. zero to 60 in the fives. Hmm. Like it's, it's they're pretty e- respectable. They're everywhere in California. Yeah. You, 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 you throw a rock up in the air and you'll hit at least five. Yeah. It's insane. And kind of like a Macan now when you're uh, driving through Mill Creek. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're everywhere. Yeah. That they are. Not mad, though. No. 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 Not mad. Used market. Yeah. Cha-ching. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, so, that was a fun one. That was good. That was. Yeah. I liked that. I liked that. That made me think. Yeah. As much as I really enjoy... That Mercedes, yeah, 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 yeah. unfortunately, like, does not best an M2 or an RS3. There's, so, there's so many times where I think that I can't get myself to commit to a Mercedes. I don't know what it is. C sixty three S coupe. Yes, um, I just C63 like C sixty three S wagon. Well, we they don't, don't get make a C. Here. What? They don't make a C wagon. Oh, they do. No, not in the U.S. Yeah. But do, they do. Uh, do they in Europe? Yeah. Interesting. That's so cool. Um, the E wagon. The E sixty three. The E AMG wagon would really. That's top of my list. For I mean theater. that with the Panamera Sport Turismo. Ooh yeah. But if you don't have two hundred thousand dollars to burn, if you only have one hundred thirty thousand dollars to burn, <laughs> <laughs> then E sixty three AMG plus. Wagon. Like, that there, there is like if I build my dream garage, that's my daily. Oh, for sure, yeah. yeah. Um, but in most other circumstances, whether it be C sixty three, I'm gonna pick the quad over it. Okay. Or yeah. the M three. Um, slash M four, whatever. Ah, it's all good. M- mm-hmm. m- most cases, I will choose other brands over Mercedes. Well, but that's right. just me. Yeah. Are, are you telling me that you don't want to buy a G wagon? No. No. But See, the, I would the, I would enjoy a G wagon. I, mean, I, I would enjoy, enjoy a G wagon. Yeah, what, I would enjoy being seen in a G wagon. What is it? It's the G. I'd, I'd enjoy taking it off road. Oh yeah, yeah. I actually I would feel less guilty about off roading that than I would a Cayenne. Okay, I can see right. that. Like like new for new, I would totally right. off road your generation of Cayenne. Oh yeah, in a heartbeat. Right. I remember seeing ads or not ads, but like in the brochure. Like when they came out, like I remember seeing like a like Cayenne Turbo, like off roading, like rock yeah. crawling and stuff. The Trans Siberia version. Before that, like back in 03 when they okay. were like really new. Yeah. I have, I have dreams of off roading a new Range Rover because I've always wanted to do that. 
and I feel like that'd be awesome. You should do that. Yeah. Yeah. Get but on I, it. I, I don't know how to make that happen, but and go. <laughs> I'm sure you can figure it out. <laughs> Turo. There. That's how you do it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, I gotta be twenty-one for that. Well, speaking of Turo, yeah, it's actually a great segue. Gavin, what have you been up to since you uh, <laughs> left the friendly confines of this here basement? Well, actually, I just got done renting something on Turo. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um. So, I was okay. So this kind of predates back into the Cali trip where. After we drove the M4 for a couple of days, I wanted to really look around and see what uh, Turo listings were and what the 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 general environment for Turo is out here and in L.A. and mm-hmm. out east and in the northwest. And I was kind of like looking around. And out here we have kind of slim pickings for anything that's really fun. Yeah. Um, Salt City Exotics, which is a company, a rental company, they actually use Turo as kind of their direct way to – Get oh, that's, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, and so they'll have like a like an R8 for like four hundred bucks a day. Mm. They'll have an M4 for like three hundred twenty bucks a day. They have an NSX, the new one, for like fifteen hundred dollars a day. What? Damn, that's yeah, hard pass on that for me. Uh, yeah, yeah. I would I would rather take that money, fly to LAX, and then pick up a right. four eighty eight. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right, and drive that for the day. Um. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, so I was really looking around. I actually did see a previous-gen E63 AMG oh, on Turo. Nice. I'm not going to say how much it is, Oh, but did it's actually not that bad. Did you find any Polaris slingshots? Not here. Um, I mean, they're a dime a dozen elsewhere for, like, $100 a day. Or, no, like, $70 a day. Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> that's why I rented one. Exactly, yeah. Um. I thought about doing that for a Cali, Cali trip that I'm doing in January, but it's seven hours of driving, so no. Mm, don't do it. I can't do that. But you have to wear a helmet. Apparently, CHP has a problem with that. Oh, that's right. It's technically yeah. a motorcycle. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I also want the vehicle to be registered. <laughs> well, yeah. Actually, and honestly, <laughs> yeah. Honestly, if I had a helmet and some earbo- like earbuds, that would be an experience. It's in January, though. It's not that. But yeah. it's California. Yeah, but it's still in like the fifties. That's where, how you're. Where, where in California? Uh, Malibu area, then going up into uh, okay. up into Ojai. Okay, and then right. down into Big Tahunga. Yep, you're good. Yep, get Big something T. with a roof. Yep, <laughs> Pre- preferably floor, four wheels and tires. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, so this kind of stems back from when I was basically riding this high of driving this M4 on, on Turo for this stupid low price. And I was looking around, and uh, what do I see on Turo that's up in Layton, but a little gray Fiesta ST, a yes. car that I've been wanting to drive. I'd only driven on a couple test drives, and I've been really curious about it. So You've done a couple of test drives with an ST? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, I went yeah. to – I was pretty serious about buying one in May mm-hmm. or so. Uh, it didn't quite work out. Um but yeah, I drove one from Tim Daly Nissan, which was great. I re- I had a uh, test drive of one from uh, RC Automotive, which was terrible. Um, RC I'm not and not to bash RC Automotive, my dad bought his TTS from them, and it's been a fantastic car. But this one, this Fiesta ST, was mo- clearly owned by some scene kid that you know goes to the 45th and state meets and gotcha. goes out to Mexico. He had what I call a hot air intake. He, like, routed the intake in a very strange fashion and had these cheap, like, terrible Korean tires on it that, like, understeered the car. Sweet. Which is not a characteristic of the car out of the out of the box. Ugh. So um, I had, like, this weird, like, taste of the Fiesta ST in my mouth, but I, like, always wanted to properly drive one on, like, a tight, twisty road. And so I re- – and the, the owner and the car just matched up perfectly for what I needed because a lot of – you know, owners will put, you know, in the description, like, you know, no hooning right. or like this car has a GPS tracker. Right. Yeah. Um, I'm going to measure the tires before you leave and after right. you return the car, like that kind of shit. And so he had none of that. He seemed like a pretty all right guy. Um, didn't seem like a super stickler or anything. And so I pulled the trigger for two days. It was forty three nice. dollars a day. This guy Peter, wow. Peter, sh- shout out to this guy Peter up in Layton. If uh, you're listening, I actually did turn him on to the podcast. So, oh, right on. Hey man, um, 
Yeah. Well, what up, dude? <laughs> Shout out you, to you, You Pete. might be getting some more rentals off of this. I mean, yeah, everyone, go look up uh, Peter with his Fiesta ST. He lives up in Layton. Um, it's I don't know what the ne- the levels of trim are for the Fiesta. I do know that it doesn't have the Recaros. I think it's a pretty base-ish car. Mm-hmm. But if you want to get a baseline for what a Fiesta ST is like, I highly recommend it. Um, it's 200 miles a day. That you have with the car, okay. Um, and Peter was actually so we were kind of dealt this kind of this bad hand of circumstances that happened. Uh, he got called last second out for uh, Thanksgiving with his family, and uh, he was going to have his coworker help him out with like getting me the keys. And his coworker got called to do a thing, mm-hmm. and so I got the first day actually for free, and I picked it up at eight o'clock at night at his house. And, uh, yeah, threw me the keys and uh, said that I had – he gave me unlimited miles nice. for basically a day. Nice. Yeah. So he was actually really chill and really flexible. So shout out to you, Peter. You actually, you know, really helped improve my experience because it was – it would kind of suck to only have 200 miles doing what I wanted to do. Driving yeah, you'd fr- kind of run out of that. You well, like, yeah, you run up to that real quick. Drive for, drive from Layton down to Salt Lake, and then up to Park City, and then emigration down to Big Cottonwood. Like that was kind of the route I was going to try to do. And yeah, I'd run out of two hundred miles pretty quick at that point. Oh yeah, because then I have to get the car back. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, though Peter is a really cool dude, um, and I do plan on renting that car again. Um, because I actually I realized I didn't get any interior photos of the car. <laughs> oh man, that's an issue. <laughs> I know. Um, I need to do that maybe later in December or something. But yeah, um, car drove great. Good. Um, it's it's just it was really funny actually. Like having driven the car basically all day, threw the car back at him, jumped in the in the Forester. And just seeing like what a just a dilapidated piece of shit my Forester is. Oh, God. The <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like the like the Fiesta like the gate like for the gears was just so like slick and seamless and it wanted to you know match revs really well. And, and then suddenly there you are in the Forester with rowing the, through oatmeal. Which I mean, no, it's not oatmeal. It's like it's literally like a jar of nails, and you have a spatula in the jar of nails, uh, and you're going like this. It's God. like it's not good. Um, I really want a Fiesta ST now. Um, preferably in the dark. We were we were talking. and I was exchanging notes, and I said uh, the, they're midnight blue. They're really deep blue. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That with the Recaros, the optional Recaros, and those are actually heated seats. Ooh, yes. Um, and then getting some white fifteen fifty twos on it. Hell yeah. Okay, Ooh, okay. I like Fuego. it. Right. I'm yeah. feeling it. I'm feeling Fuego. it. Fuego indeed. Fuego, my dudes. Um, Muy fuego. Yes, and then that. Don't even touch suspension. Just do tires and then go to like stage two just with have, like an intake downpipe intercooler. Just have fun with it. it. Just have a little bit of fun with it. The suspension is so sorted though. Yeah, it, that's really that's the opposite of the M4. Actually, it felt like they did suspension and chassis first, and then they put this incredible engine and turbo in there. Hmm. I mean, turbo spools at twenty seven hundred RPM and pulls to five grand. Damn. All right. Yeah, and it's still happy above boost too. Like I was pulling pretty hard. I hit some speeds. <laughs> um, <laughs> yes, you, you, you kept I, it under fifty-five, right at fifty-five. That a boy, right at fifty-five. Um, and actually, what's funny is, so the owner actually picked the car up in Germany because he's deployed Ooh, over in Europe. Nice, picked up because with army bases abroad, you could buy American cars. I right. guess, yeah. And so he, yeah, he picked up in Germany and drove it on the autobahn, hit like one hundred and sixty miles an hour. Nice, he just maxed it. Nice. Um. So I feel okay having driven the car away the way I did. <laughs> feel like we're very it's, like-minded. It's kind of uh, kind of in its regiment. A little bit. And also, Peter, if you are listening, I did not hit 160 miles an hour. <laughs> I definitely went under that. Uh, that's great. By a little bit. <laughs> by a little. By just a, a hair. Just a bit. A little. Just a bit. Just um, a smidgen. But yeah, I mean, it was comfortable to drive in. Um, suspension was super sorted. I could... I definitely felt the rear end rotation, how people have talked about before, where it's just that really stiff rear end um, wanted to come out and meet you. Um, and, yeah, I drove it up to Snow Basin, took some photos up there with some friends of mine. Um, fantastic car. I'm, I'm actually really looking forward to renting it again, and I need to buy one. I've already looked on yeah. cars.com. <laughs> I think we've all been there. Yeah. 
Yeah. I need to sell some organs or something. Well, 4K off a brand new one with the with the Recaros. It's black. It's the, yeah. See, I was thinking about a black one today, actually, and then that would be my mm. plan Hold B. On. Hold yeah. on. The, the let me get to the interior picture. It, it's got a Fuego interior. Fuego. Yeah, oh, see the yeah. Fuego. The red Recaros are where it's at. You can get those yeah. seats on the red cars, too. Nice. Yeah. That's really cool. On all the other seats, there are white uh, centers instead oh, okay. of red. Okay. Hmm. So That's they still, still look cool looking. They still look yeah. really nice. The red ones are fire. Nice. Well, there we go. Yeah. yeah. Um, the only real downside to the Fiesta ST as far as a driver's car is the brake pedal is actually just too high up for yeah. me to heel toe. Well, but I could, is... you know, blip and match revs and... They get on the yep. brake beforehand, so it wasn't the biggest deal in the world. Hey, not, not the biggest thing. Nice. nice. Maybe I can just put like some like wooden blocks on like the gas pedal or something, or something. I <laughs> just just pull a short round. Yeah, yeah there exactly. you go. <laughs> put throw some extenders on it. Yeah. Pop Love a blue it. pill. Love it. There you hey, go. if it's blue, I can name it blue pill. Dang. There you go. Yeah. That boy. The, the plate will just say Viagra. <laughs> I like it. Oh. <laughs> oh, I, I dig. I did. Yeah. Wonderful. Have you guys yeah. noticed that the Viagra pill is is really, really close to Polestar Blue? It is. Yeah. Well, the nitrous blue. Uh-huh. The Ford nitrous blue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It really is. Oh, boy. Okay. Anyhow. Coincidence? I think uh. not. So moving on. Well, guys, not only do we have a guest, but we have a question of the week. Yes. What? Yes. And we were curious. We got some good answers on this, too. Yeah. We were asking about protection. They're about concept cars that uh, never made it to production. Yeah, I've got a list. There's a lot. There's a huge... I've got a list of five myself. Ooh, yeah. One of mine. By the way, this segment is brought to you by uh, Steady Broke Clothing. Mm-hmm. Steady.broke on all social medias. Steadybroke.com. Use CamAuto15 at checkout to save 15% on your entire order. Bam, there it is. Go check them out. Get some cool stuff. Voila. Hey, Trent, the FSSD you sent me is a branded title. Oh, I even said it in the notes. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, well, That's why it was oh. so cheap with 9,000 miles on Got it. 9,000 miles and how much? 12, 11. 11 grand? Yeah. yeah. Um, you can buy them all day at 15. Clean title. Just, Worth the extra four grand. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Look, not bad, though. Not nope. bad. Not yeah, bad at all. But look at the one before it. There's one for 10. Clean title? Yes. Ooh, buddy. How, how much? 70,000 miles. It's 10, 10K. All right. Well, shall we? Anyway, uh, let's, yeah. Let's, we're a bit distracted let's now. Let's give right. some, some of these Sorry, reads ladies and gentlemen. Here. I was giving yeah. you the attention earlier, Dave. Now I'm Ooh. giving it to Gavin. That's okay. Aww, thanks. That's okay. I'll Damn. share. I'll share. I'm seeing <laughs> so. some of these uh, people's responses. And so, there's some good responses. Yeah, yeah there's some good real good. good. Sure. Like so, the three I have look like shit now. <laughs> so I want to just get out here real quick with this. So... I'm the one who threw the the post up today, and I specifically chose that Cadillac CL mm-hmm. concept, which is yeah. a cool looking car. Just because, like, that is all that Cadillac should be. Exactly. The size you of a are right. The size of a fucking house. Opulent is all get out. I, I mean, mean, that's what they started as. Yeah, like it was the epitome of not just American luxury, but luxury. Yeah, and oh, how they have lost their way. Indeed. Anyway. That's so. okay. We have V's. Yep. I mean, that'll work. Yeah, it, it, it'll it's, do. It's <laughs> not the worst thing. Nope. Right. I'll right, get right. the job done. So, yeah. I mean, I kind of got out there right front and center with the Cadillac CL. That just giant fucking boat of a mil- boat of a car. That made, made me remind me of the Cadillac uh, 16. Yeah, that one. The was, like slightly uh, yeah. bigger, yeah. more badass of all. Yeah. <laughs> hey, do you remember the Art Deco days? So does Cadillac. <laughs> And now you have 16 cylinders because of fuck you, that's why. <laughs> Road hugging weight. Yeah. <laughs> and I remember that was Cadillac's first foyer into uh, cylinder, de- cylinder deactivation. I remember I mean, them talking about that on Top Gear. Like, that's my I mean, it would it. make a whole hell of a lot of sense if they wanted to shut down any number of those. The first eight <laughs> cylinders. My God <laughs> in heaven. <laughs> but um, I, uh, one of the ones I saw in here was, um, you should scroll down a little bit so oh, I yeah. can see his name which I was on my list was Devin Devin Creasy Creasy yeah Devin Creasy I don't want to pronounce your name wrong 
But that was oh, number one on my list was the Nissan IDX. The mine as well. Yeah, was it? mine yeah. as well. Yeah, the Nissan sure. 510. Like yeah, the 510 looking thing, the modern oh, 510. That so cool. We were teased with, and then they brutally took it away from us. Well, do you, do you really think they're going to make that? Like, like you saw, and you just that was a little too concept. It was for, convincing. I thought yeah, it was convincing. Really, well, yeah, and or also something similar. Well, yeah, and also they kept saying it's like, "Well, we're looking to go in a new direction," you know, oh, yeah, yeah. kind of teasing us about it. Well, looks like their new direction is CEOs getting fired. <sighs> yep. <laughs> Welp, it is a direction. <laughs> the new direction is rogue everything. That is indeed oh. a direction you can go down. <laughs> Woof. <laughs> One of the other ones Gag. I haven't seen yet anywhere on. Oh, Buzz's um... girlfriend. Woof. <laughs> wow. Yeah, we just threw that back to 90s Home Alone, dude. Holy hell. Buzz, For the second time. Girlfriend. Second time. <laughs> Oh, it's a good night. <laughs> well, Zach, <laughs> one of the other ones that was on my list, which I have not seen yet on any of the social medias, but I hope to see it in the future because it's such a badass car. It's an old school car. It is the uh, Lancia Stardust Zero? Oh yeah, that thing was crazy. Oh. Was that the one with the basically an F430? Um, no, no, it's the Super Wedge. <laughs> you should well, um, pull that. The, yeah, the. It's also super wedgy. It's basically they remade the old Stratos. No, this no, this one. It's the same era as the original Stratos. Yeah. Era. Oh, so it's from back in the day. Yeah. Okay. It's like the super oh, wedge. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes. I, I know what you're talking about. I've yeah. seen that it thing. Well. Yeah. It looks like the Dome Zero. Yeah. Yep. And that vehicle lunch, does yeah. run and drive. There's video of it driving between. Um, like a storage facility and a museum. Check out that image on the right there with the... Uh, this one? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Look at that. Oh. That's amazing. Yeah. She's hot, too. Yeah. yeah Prototype man. had a 1.6-liter V4. Ooh. Wow. Yeah, I wonder, so if, the... wonder if it was uh, Lancia-based or if it was a yeah. Ford motor. Uh, Lancia Fulvia. Oh, Did okay. You know? Okay, yeah. the Fulvia. Yeah. Ooh, those gold wheels on the actual Stratos, though. Oh, my that God. That hard. So I'm, I'm pretty sure I've seen some synthwave albums actually with that one on the left, that mm-hmm. same photo. Oh, I guarantee you, you have. But the one reasons why this reminded me was this was in the I think it was the final episode of season six, season five of Archer, the the Archer oh, Vice, right, 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 oh, yeah. where they um, he opens up the door to the garage and there's just like all of the Archer styled cars, and the one he picks is the fucking Lancia Stratos Zero. Yeah. Very cool. And there, I think it's also like the Vector W8 and shit like oh, that. Yeah, of course it was. Shit yeah. in there. That's of very, very synth wave. Do you want me to pick my last option? or? I mean, if you want to, but I mean. I can't remember what it's called, so it's just more or less uh, just, just, yeah, it's, it's, it's a Toyota car. It's uh, 90s, uh, mid-2000s. But you guys all remember that concept, that um, Pontiac concept? That was like the buggy that like all the doors could be turned into like surfboards and yes. like, like four yeah. vacuums in the car. Yes. It's that of the new era. It's like the FDX or some shit like that. But um Interesting. Oh go back up. Oh Toyota oh. EX three, that's cool. No, no, no. Oh, you're talking yeah. about yeah. J forty five. Yeah. You gotta yeah. click on that, please. That's no. clean as fuck. No, go to, go back to that Lexus RX concept. Oh god. No, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Look how cool this shit is. Oh, the 2003 hey, concept. Hey, Trent. That's cool. That's cool. Oh, Go fuck yourself. Dude. Dude. <laughs> there I've it done is. my job. I was wondering yeah. I was wondering oh, cool. when that would happen tonight, actually. Well, I, I agreed with you on your Track Daily Crush, so I, know, you, I was sure. wondering yeah, I, if I was going to escape it I'm today. For, no. I need to find that link so I have uh, material for later. Wow. Oldconceptcars.com. Ooh, it's right yeah. there. Ooh, the, go, go back up. Go back. The Toyota CS and S concept. <laughs> that looks like the fucking. That, that looks, looks delightful. That looks like oh. the, um, the the Sterling Moss edition. That no, I mean, that looks like it, the it, kind of. It looks ish. as delightful as something that tops out at thirty-seven miles an hour. <laughs> it looks like the Sterling Moss edition. If the Sterling Moss edition were a children's it, cartoon. Anyone yeah. seen the new Alpine A110? Yes. 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 The front end looks identical okay. to that. Okay. Wow. I'm feeling it. Um. One of the things I've noticed is so I'm pretty familiar with like like the Nissan POW and stuff in that like era of that, that style yeah, of vehicles. Yeah. There was a lot of vehicles from like that era that have like the restyled new cars that make sense. That, no. Like the like the nineties cars that look like sixty cars. Okay. Like the POW. Oh, retro. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, retro, yeah. But there's apparently a whole bunch of uh, of uh concepts like that. Mike, what do you got for us? 
I mean, I threw out the the CL right off the top. Right. Remember, I started yes. this whole that, thing. That that's all you got. I mean, the CL, the sixteen, the the Chrysler ME twelve. Ooh, the ME four twelve. Oh, yeah, that thing. That was why I, did that I actually not think of that? That actually made it on my list. Surprisingly was, enough, is that yeah. the is that the crossfire looking one or no? Okay. That is that guy. Oh yeah, the one that J Lo has. J Leno, J Leno, not J Lo. Yeah, J-Lo. that definitely came to mind. Yeah. So well, that thing does a little bit look look a little crossfirey though. Like the, the front end, the hood, sort of. It's if like you, a crossfire plus an Audi R8. Wait, 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 wait. L- let me show you the part that looks like a crossfire. <laughs> oh fuck off! Damn, that six inches of the hood. Yes, okay, that's the logo. Uh, yeah. If you brooded an R8 with a crossfire, you get something that looks kind of like that. Not, uh, I mean, if you squint. Okay, fuck off. Okay, okay. okay. Squinting from a hundred yards away. Yeah. All right. Like yeah, it's... I'm bumping one thing off my list for right. me. Four twelve. Yeah. Nice. But um, the 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 VW. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the Nardo W12. Yeah. 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 So you yeah. by Tyler Tarbox yeah. over in Motoring United. I believe there was two of those concepts produced. One working fully working with the right engine. It was green, I believe. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, well, Dave, I actually have a pretty good list. Let's hear I've, it. I've got five cars. Hit me with it. Uh, number one. Mopar the, has a good selection of concept cars. They do. They do. I, I had the Chrysler ME412 on my list. Yes. Um, uh, top of my list, though, the ME412 was number three. Top okay. of my list, the TVR Cerbera Speed 12. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Be still my beating heart. Indeed. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, second on my list, this kind of brings me back because I had a poster of this car back in the 90s. Uh, the Ford GT90. Damn it! Oh. Oh, I don't know I thought one. I was going to be all original and shit. <laughs> nope. I'm sorry, Kevin. God. I'm so sorry. What is it with Gavin and having people steal his ideas? Dude, that was, that was on Need for Speed 2? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. That was so oh, good. Oh, yeah. Um, that number three, obviously, was the 412. Yeah. Uh, oh. number four... The Chevrolet Aerovet, the, yeah, the oh. four rotor. What at the that fuck is and that? I was like, yeah, those yeah, are really cool. cool. Go, go ahead and type that in real quick. The Chevrolet Aerovet. All right. Yeah, it's it's cool. It's cool looking. It's all all one word. Aerovet. Chevrolet. Aerovet. Yep. Spelled exactly how you think it should be. Let's see what we got. Bring it in, baby. Very C three esque. Oh, there we go. There we go. There's a Lancia Stratus though. It's yeah, nineteen seventy six. So like right smack dab in the middle of the C three production. Yep. Yep. Really cool. I mean, it, it's basically a mid engine going four rotor C three Corvette. Uh-huh. But why did they make a four rotor? Well, see, this is back when Chevy was playing with the idea of running a Wankel designed engine. Oh, yeah. Interesting. This was the time period where you could go to Australia. Buy a full size Holden that came with a rotary engine. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and of course the Holden GM. Sure. Yeah. 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 Just plug and play. But exactly. More or less. Yeah. It was one of those things like just because you can doesn't mean you should. Yeah. <coughs> so yeah. It, right. Exactly. Corvette four rotor. Uh, That's and, crazy. And then to to go ahead and tie this all in. Uh, this has a very loose lineage to the Viper, Trent. I don't know if you know this. The Shelby GR1 concept. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. Yeah, this is a cool one. Uh, yeah, type this one in. Let's see what she do. See what the internet spits out. Exactly. <laughs> we put it into the uh, the Wayback Machine. Oh, wow. wow. Even oldconceptcars.com doesn't have But that's it. the thing. It's old concept cars. Yeah, it's any, anything that past is, 2001. That, I guess that is true. I yeah. The Shelby GR1. I feel like I know what this was is. like early two thousands. Oh. Yeah. 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 Well, no, there were like some modern, old, more old modern concepts pedal. on old concept cars. Yeah. It appears to be about two thousand one is where they cut off most of them. I yeah. really dig, specifically the back end of the car. I really See, like it how really, flat. It really like from the rear three quarter. It kind of has an old school British muscle car look. I mean, it has it obviously like the old Daytona, Daytona inspired, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. but it just kind of kind of has the the rear haunches kind of remind me of something right British muscle. Right now, actually looking at some of these pictures on this big screen, it actually does look like something I would see as a a car you would see in like 
GTA Five. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. I could see that. You know. Yeah. Especially so. the front with like the headlight uh, housing. Right. It looks like either yeah, this is a very GTA or just something so fucking nineties. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And I I really dig what they did with the rear vents and the tail lights uh-huh. and stuff like. But that. But what are the aerodynamics like? Because like when something just stops. Like, that's very unaerodynamic when, like, the back end just stops because it needs to taper off. If I'm and not end. mistaken, the reason why Volvo ran an estate in BTCC was because the aerodynamics of an abruptly ending vehicle were better. Yes, look it was, at... That's look, interesting because I've... Look at a Prius. That, I mean, it slopes down and then all of a sudden, gone. It stops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I a feel teardrop like is good for slick, but it doesn't give you any downforce. I feel like that gives you I think a so? little yeah. bit more downforce. I think about like like the cars from like the seventies that were racing, like like not like F one, but like like actual like production cars that were racing. They all had that same like two fifty GTO. I mean, flat back. <laughs> yeah, it was also the seventies. Yeah, they're all true. true. There were also a lot of amazing cars that were designed by people who had no concept of aerodynamics. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was they could just draw pretty. <laughs> Pininfarina and Bertone being a couple of them. <laughs> <laughs> pretty as all get up, but my God in heaven. Yeah, exactly, but, yeah. exactly. And so that that's my list right there. Cool. That was a pretty it's good a solid one, I list. Feel like. Yeah. So, well, cool. uh, my list. We've talked uh, about a couple of them. The Cadillac 16, gorgeous car, 16-cylinder, love it. I love – That's what, this really is what Cadillac should have been. Yeah. yeah. The Cadillac CL, mm-hmm. another one that was gorgeous. Uh, I want a big four-door convertible again. All right. Okay. Yeah. We, we need one of those. El Dorado. I, cha- I changed one of my answers to like the to Chrysler ME412. Yeah. Attaboy. Because I forgot about that. Like you do. Then the Jaguar CX-75. Oh, yes. Good call. Yes. Okay. Uh, an amazing car that really should have been put into production. And I know a few know of a few people that put deposits down on it. Oh, really? Oh. So I'm surprised it did not happen. But, huh. Interesting. Uh, one of the Mopar concepts that I really enjoyed, the Dodge Razor. Which was supposed to be oh. a Miata competitor. Yes. Yes. So turbocharged, uh, four cylinder, uh, and it was it was rear wheel drive and kind of a cool car. Funny um, to see that now we've we've a few <laughs> decades later have wow. seen you know a there's little the, bit of is. a huh. little bit of a the SRT kind of concept. a coming around on this because you know we've got the Fiat 124, mm-hmm. which is a Miata, right? You yeah. know, you've, you've... It's a it's a Fiat, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. But yeah, I thought that was a sharp looking car. Oh yeah, and, yeah. you know the the ethos and the concept of it was fantastic. Um, I really wish Dodge would have put that into production. Uh, to, that, to scroll back up to the interior, that is a very Fiat 500 Abarth. Yeah. Instrumentation, yeah, it's yeah. got a very Abarth feel to it, which is weird to see. You know, well, also that. look at those vents. That's very retro. That's mm-hmm. very neo yeah. retro. That yeah. that would have sold really well in two thousand two. I feel well, I you feel are like. correct. While we're on Dodge, they actually Dodge ha- did call something a demon. Yes, back in the day, right. not not back in the day, but like, but. Oh six or so. Yeah, that was a concept. That was a two door yeah. little roadster thing. Um the the funny thing is though, the Razor does come from the Razor scooter name. They does did, it really? They did put, the logo was exactly couple, the same. Yeah. I don't know if you noticed that. Wow. Yeah, it did, yeah. They put a couple of Razor scooters in the trunk. Yeah. As, as, when they debuted Weird. it. Um Ooh, what the fuck? But then the last one on my list is one a th- is from nineteen ninety one. There, oh. there are multiples of these in terms of the name, mm-hmm. but is the Audi Quattro Spider concept. Okay. Go ahead and type that in. All right. 1991 Audi Quattro Spider concept. This thing is gorgeous today, let alone in 1991. Hmm. Let us see. Come on, see. internets. There it is. There we go. Yeah. Maybe no photos, though. Oh, I bet there this are. This is the R8 before the R8. Oh, oh, really? Loading. Come on. Loading. 
load. Oh, oh look, look at that. Yeah. And that it's thing. on and it's on like mid model A four wheels. <laughs> that might be an A six. Uh, yeah, I definitely <laughs> I definitely think that's A six territory there. All right. Because that thing, I mean that that's what a Ferrari three forty eight should have been. Right. Yeah. I feel you on that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I like but how great. simple that interior is. You can mm-hmm. definitely tell it's from the early nineties though, because it looks like just like a UR quattro. Right. Yeah. On the inside. Right. Yeah. Right. Just yeah. The center. So... The center bits. The buttons. The vents. That's all early B five, late B four. God. Yeah. That just reminds me so much of my dad's Audi one hundreds that he had. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, yeah, absolutely. interior's not that that fantastic, but that no. l- the look of that exterior, man, that is in a time where pop-ups were the rage, they went uh they went with f- they went without pop-ups. Yeah. Well, Trent knows how I feel about pop-ups. That they're disgusting. They're and, overrated. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. <laughs> it's, it's I'm yet, glad there's somebody else out there with some sanity left. It's yet another They're thing. nostalgic. Yeah, I get it. They but, definitely are. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, People like those for the same reason they, for some odd reason, like the 1997 Ford Taurus. I don't know why, but Dave. It's, <laughs> it's one of those. Dave's like, well, because the uh, the bolt pattern on the uh, the bell housing matches up perfectly with. Also, that rear end. Yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. It's actually very That's Porsche. That's a very timeless look. Yeah. It's very Porsche, though, like how the lights go across all the way, yeah. and it's all just kind of one. In 20 it's years, very, that thing's still going to be beautiful. It's very reminiscent. I mean, it is still beautiful, you know, 27 years later. Yeah, right. like, that's a lot of the then, like, contemporary Coupe Quattro. Yeah. Yeah. That was, mm-hmm. that's pretty much just straight off the back of a Coupe Quattro, and that just, that works so very well. Yeah. Uh, Quite like that. Yes. I like that if you were to debadge it and show it to somebody on the street, they'd be like, that's an Audi. Like, uh, mm, no. no. Well, a normal Joe looks, Schmell on the street would be like, what kind of Ferrari is that? Uh, yeah, yeah, it looks because more exotic me, than, than yeah, an Audi. This to was, yeah. Okay, no, I would, I, would place, I would place it more as a Lotus or a McLaren, honestly. S- yes, I could see a Lotus yeah. s- resemble. I could there. see to Jag. Me, I can see Jag yeah, in it. I can see Jag yeah, too. This is definitely not like. To me, this car screams 90s. Yeah, for this sure. This is a very 90s car. Oh, yeah. Like, if you were to paint this car, like, white or purple and do, like, the 90s Taco Bell confetti down the side of this <laughs> thing, like... Yeah. Or the styrofoam cup. Yeah. Fucking... Uh-huh. Yeah. The fucking... Dixie yeah. cup. The party cup. Yeah. Dixie cup swag. Uh, <laughs> drink. Wow. <laughs> All right. Dixie cup swag. Drink. Drink. Damn, drink. son. I'm already empty. Good God. God. Anyway. anyway. Uh, so, uh, Gavin, do you have uh, your... I mean, a couple of mine were taken. Um, Remember back when they were designing the now current generation of WRX and that concept came out and people like lost their minds. They're like, oh, this is fucking sick. And then as soon as they like release the actual version, they're like, are you fucking kidding? Yeah, that's fair. Um, So the really sweet WRX concept the last time that came out. Um, as I said before, GT90 was really sick. Uh, the IDX concept was really sick. Um, I'm trying to think of... Th- there's there's one that... Um, not Devin. Uh, Trent Nathan Tanner mentioned that I don't want to necessarily give away. Um, can I? Mean, I? You can, yeah, go right oh, ahead. Yeah, Trent Nathan Tanner, shout out to him. Um, Evil Trent. He mentioned the Mazda Furi, which yeah. is... A hell of a choice. That yeah, actually absolutely. takes like creativity to come up to. I think to pull that one out. Um, I think that's really it. Um, I just thought of me, another of one concepts? Uh, that I've mentioned on the podcast before: the Lamborghini e- Stoke. The Stoke. Oh, yeah, yeah. The yeah, that four was, door. That's that's uh, yeah. That was some hot door based Lamborghini yeah. Stoque. <laughs> What's the, That's the one. <laughs> yes. what's the Lamborghini that has the Esto Q? Has the orange wheels? You know the, the weird orange wheels. It's, it's the Esto K? the gray one. Yeah, it's the gray one. Yeah, everything's the, orange it, or gray on it. It looks it like a so toy. Millennium or something. It looks yeah. like a toy. Yeah, yeah it, it's like if you were to take the um, what the fuck was it called? I forgot the name last episode too. Yeah, the Venom, the the Venom, the the, the, the Venino, Venino. Venino. Yeah. that yeah. we've made that in a single seater. It looks kind of like that. Okay, <clears throat> give me some time. 
Well, well, while well, you're figuring that out. Uh, no, no. Yeah, no, by no, the no, way, no, no, no. so uh, yeah, I, it took so much restraint on all the corrections last episode that you kept throwing out there, Zach. So. What? What? <laughs> what? When you when you guys were 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 talking about things and you kept throwing things out there, I was like, nope, 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 nope. But oh, I, what, I, what, I, re- I, I restrained. Was I full of shit last week? A little bit. Okay. Well, yeah. you, you did. You did preface it that you weren't sure exactly. On what so. you think? I'm, I'm confused. Yeah. You can call on, me well, on everything. Okay. So okay. AJ Glassmacher had a really good answer. Yeah, we're gonna get to our mm. listener responses on the social medias. Yes. Yeah. The, well, that's that's weird. The, Anywho, yeah. uh, <laughs> Igusta, uh, so Igusta? AJ Glassmacher oh. says uh, egoista. Egoista. Yeah. Uh, he says, I would have liked to have seen the Dodge Deora and Deora 2 go into production. He would, being a Mopar guy. Yeah. I remember first seeing it on Hot Wheels World Race and being a kid from California and having spent a couple years in Hawaii on the Marine's dime, the idea of having a surfboard rack was bitchin'. I bitchin'. actually and don't you know guys, this one. I have I have the oh, Hot Wheels okay. of both of these yes. models. Yep. No, I know what he's talking about. Yep. Yeah, uh, I believe Foos, Chip Foos, is the one standing in that picture specifically for the day it or looks two. Like Chip I Foose. believe he designed that car. So. Yeah, I've seen it. Very very where Foose I've designed. seen it, did I see it on his show? Probably, maybe. Was this in a movie? I don't. Was this? I don't know. Is this in a video game? Uh, I don't know. But yeah, that is a thousand percent Chip Foos. Yeah, that is that is definitely Chip Foos there. Yeah, yeah. So that was the one that it opened from the front. And you like you know sat in. I feel like I saw that in a movie oh, like or the, video Isetta? game or something. Like, Kinda, yeah, sort of. Yeah. But yeah, super cool. I yeah. I dig that. Also being a Mopar guy, hundred percent on that yeah. one. That's yeah. cool shit. And AJ posted that in the Cam Shenanigans group. Indeed, he did. Where... Just remember, guys, if you are a Patreon, you do get access to that at yeah. the five dollar level. Five dollars right? and that, up. Is that we're five. Yeah. Five, five bucks and up. Word. Uh, anyway. On the uh, the cam proper Facebook page, we got a we got a healthy amount of responses. So we'll uh, just whiz on through them real yep. quick. Uh, Alex Crane said, "Jeep Hurricane." If you don't know, now you know. If you don't know, now you know. The aforementioned uh, Evil Trent said, "The Mazda Fierre." And by the way, Alex and uh, Trent Nathan Tanner, they're going to be organizing our GT Sport uh, challenges. So oh, very cool. Yep. So uh, more on that a little bit later once they get some things hammered out. But Sweet. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Oh, that is also a thing that is really only available to Shenanigans members, so go ahead and get that uh, Patreon going. Let's see, Devin Creasy said uh, the Nissan IDX, because he liked the idea of a new 510, and then the Toyota SFR. Yeah, this one was actually pretty cool, and I wish yeah. it would still come out. Um, it looked really rad. It's, but, yeah. it's kind of something more of an actual Miata competitor, right? Right. right. It's yeah. it's smaller than the GT86. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it, yeah, it's basically like you know, a it's a roadster. Yeah, well, there she is. Right. Yeah. Or no, it's a hardtop. You can get yeah, a hardtop. So this was a modified version okay. uh, that was really cool. It looks a little cappuccino-y. It was yeah. the, yeah, like, they had a version that was a, I think, just a straight target top, and then they had a sport, uh, like, a club racer version that had the fixed hardtop and everything, and the tow hook and the more aggressive arrow. It looks aggressive but as fuck. The, the really? crazy thing about it is... They actually like this thing debuted in production trim. Like, yeah, of like it was all the to... concepts that you could have, all the crazy interiors. It's like, oh, this is production ready. Yep, and... you can drive this right now. Right, yep. but oh well. Let's say then, uh, Luke Dreyer threw up the Nissan R three ninety, which I mean, technically doesn't count. Technically doesn't count, but I mean, listen, they made two of them and then they sold them to themselves to meet GT1 homologation standards. But I mean, I love the R390, oh, so yeah, I mean, right. you still get a pass. Yeah. So, yeah, it's just, you know, Brandon McConkie brings up the point that a Toyota did the exact same thing with the GT1 road car, mm-hmm. which is hard with the air quotes on that. Well, let's see. Ben Allred, uh, again, he wants to echo the IDX, and then he said next would be the Jeep XJ001 concept, all-wheel drive, AMC V8-powered fiberglass, rocket on wheels. This really is just a, a smaller uh, AMX. Yeah. It's like a, a short a wheelbase. It's a stubby AMX with no doors. Yeah. Goofy little thing. It's really cool looking. Yeah. Uh, Jake Morrow, uh, again, echoes the uh, the SFR. Yes. Yep. Brandon Kuhn says the Chevy Cobalt Rally Bob. This is cool. It was designed from the world to go stomp WRX. In any mixed surface flight, 
but they never built more than proof of concept units. And see, are there Bra- photos of this? I'll have to dig some back up. But uh, yeah, Brandon and I were talking about this. Uh, well, you talked a with while me about ago. this as well too. Yeah, right. Yeah, and so he was like, you know, I've always wanted, you know, if I had fuck you money, I would try and build one. And you know, realistically, you could. The same time that the Cobalt came out, you could get the nine three X. Um, Saab, which was a Turbo EcoBoost, or uh, Ecotech, excuse me. Turbo Ecotech with ha- uh, a six-speed and Haldex all-wheel drive. I believe it was called the Rally Bomb. Eh, it's whatever. I'm not well, seeing anything. Yeah, well, I'm yeah. seeing a lot of very... I, I found very Things limited that are information blue. on it yeah. originally, but yeah. So was basically the idea was it was a Turbo Ecotech... Uh, yeah. Haldex style all wheel drive, a little bit more rally oriented suspension. Mm. Really cool. And I feel like had had Chevy brought out the Cobalt or the G five uh, with the availability of an all wheel drive platform, mm. I feel like that would have been really cool. Yeah, and at that time they were really chasing that, you know, street tunery, fast right. and furious yeah. right. type of yeah. crowd. Which is what I guess the American market needed back in the early 2000s. It's what I some, guess. somebody decided we needed that. And here we are. Because everyone else in America was focused on fucking, you know, old school muscle cars. Yep. This seemed like a new way forward. I don't mm-hmm. know. Yeah. Hindsight's 2020. Yep. Anyway, uh, Josh Eric Willett said uh, the new Genesis Coupe, the one <laughs> specifically that came out after his model showed up. The So this sweet, like with this more yeah. current. Genesis design language. Looks well, nice. Yeah. Isn't that, isn't that loosely based off the G90? Probably the G70. 70, yeah. The okay. 70. Well, actually. That's from. Whoa. Wow. What What just happened? Gavin, turn his. Did you turn your mic off? Yeah, it popped off. There you go. Sorry. Um. Well, and that's a car that I actually really like to get in because you can get a base G70 mm. with a two-liter turbo and yeah. not one, not two, but three pedals. Three pedals. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then hopping over to Motoring United where we got a decent response. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Shout out to MU. Yep. Uh, Shane Carroll MU. says the Cadillac CL uh, El- slash El Mirage. Screw the trendy. This ain't your grandpa's Cadillac thing they have going. Give me a hood big enough I can land a helicopter on and an interior crafted from manatee leather. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, don't, absolutely. Uh, don't uh-huh. worry. Me and Brandon Coon, you. we egged him on, and then he said, I want my Cadillac to be large enough that I'd need to research local zoning laws for parking it <laughs> overnight, and my wheels polished daily by the local orphans with the tears of the lower class. <laughs> my man. Hot damn. My dude. Yup. And then uh, Tyler Tarbox came in with the VW Nardo W12. Can I can I put an asterisk on this mm-hmm. and take it one further? Yes. The uh, Volkswagen GTI W12 concept. Ah, that yeah, same the, power yeah, plant. Mark thing. Five. Yes. Yeah. The one that was on Top Gear. Yes. The thing yeah. that kind of sort of worked. Mm-hmm. Kind of. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like they had no air con or anything like that. Yeah. No, like it, would, it was a rolling shell I, with it a would, motor. But it did roundy rounds really well. Yeah. Yes. Like it would drive, but. Uh, let's see. Then Tyler Tarbox also had the uh, the Chrysler ME four twelve. Why are we not funding this? Oh. <laughs> Chrysler had every chance to be really awesome. It's true. Yep. Yes. But then uh, I love yeah, the FC. Daniel Kenneth Babbler at the mighty FC, which is a Jeep concept. Yeah. The the it's a uh, FC stood for forward control. For those yep. of you that don't know, that was a, a cab over style. Yeah. Jeep looks a lot like the. Um, and that particular concept words. build was actually built off of. A very heavily modified uh, JK Wrangler with a Ute kit. Ooh. Ooh. See, it just looks like someone's really good at Photoshop there. No, that, like, yeah. that, like that, that, that's, vehicle, a that's, that's actually a thing. I know, built. but, like, I feel like I've seen yeah. Photoshops that are like yeah. that where they just put the cab just right up to the front. Or, like, you, you, they take the, the image of, like, the car parked 45 degrees one direction there and was, flip the roof. Was there a Subaru the Baja that was yes. like that or something? Or yes. an Outback? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's like the headlights are over on the side by the <laughs> by the tailgate, and it's, it's just like weird an to MC look at. Escher fucking. Just... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> very very Escher. Amazing. Well, I think that's it, guys. I, I do believe that was it. Did, yeah. did you have any final final words there? I don't. No, well, I look like you had something pulled up, so I didn't. Yeah. I kept pulling stuff up, but okay, gotcha. and, yeah, we could are go you all now night, looking right? at Fiesta STs? <laughs> Want me to stop <laughs> sending me links for cheap? 
uh, motor homes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You should try to find me a cheap uh, V70R. No, no. Just get, it, just get a Fiesta. These will. But, but, but I want a V70. Just get these a Fiesta. These are things we can talk about after we close out this here episode. Okay. Right. You can't afford to fix a 2.3 liter Mustang. What makes you think you can fuck, fix a fuck, V70R? God, God. God, fuck both off. of you. Shut up. Hey, <laughs> soon as we be a five out Mustang, okay? We're trying to boat this. Okay. I'm trying to boat this bass. Would you both just, you specifically, stop? Are looking at me? God. Anyway, guys, thank you for joining us on episode 148 of the Camcast. Gavin, thank you for coming back. Thanks for having me, guys. Yeah, no problem. Hey. Yeah, it's a pleasure. Where can we find you and your cheeky shenanigans? My cheeky shenanigans you can find on my Instagram, Gavin's Poor Brain, all one word. Um, if you want to see my occasional photo uploads on Instagram, I'm gp.media. Um, and, yeah, if you already have me on Facebook, you'll see my my shit posting. Some, if you're in the Cam Shenanigans page, I'm in there. Yep. I'll see you in there. You are the, if, you're the admin of the group. I am an admin slash creator of the group. Yep. <laughs> um, it and, was your idea. Yeah, well, you know, couldn't keep up with the group chat, so I thought I'd make it, make, may as well make it a group. There you go. Um, and out. yeah, I'll, I will be writing an article on that Fiesta ST. Uh, should be coming in the next few weeks or so. There we I'll go. I'll send it to Mike, and he'll give me notes. Yep, <laughs> many notes. Break out the red pen. <laughs> oh God. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, there you go. Uh, follow us on all the social medias. We are at Cam Auto Mag. Just type in, you know internet dot thing slash cam auto mag and something will pop up i'm sure of yep. it uh find this podcast wherever you find your delightful podcasts be it apple podcast spotify google play you know wherever like rate review share because this thing's a whole lot better with friends true, it's true. case in point the people in this room yes Aww. Aww. yep that's so nice of you hurt you gavin I try. Uh, support us on Patreon, patreon.com slash camautomag. Buy stuff from us. Help us keep the uh, the lights on and me buy a bigger circuit breaker so we can have a heater going on down here. <laughs> it's very cold. At camautoswag.com. And uh, go ahead and support our buddy Tommy over at Steady Broke Clothing. And, uh, yeah. Well. Which I, I actually uh, saw Tommy over the weekend. Uh, he, he stopped in for his tour stop and i went to the concert and nice got to see him do his work nice well guys until next time for episode 148 i have been mike i've been daddy rads i've been the shadowy billionaire i've been zach and i've been gavin ah uh, yay. yay just like old times yay. except yay. i can't feel my legs because of how cold it is down here <laughs> much better after the jacket yep